What's up guys, Tommy H here and welcome to a new series on the channel. And this series is basically going to be me talking about certain dino battles and basically saying who I think would win. It's kind of like the who would win series but a little more in depth with the categories. I'm also going to be talking about the possibilities of these fights happening in a Jurassic World film. So the first battle I'm going to be bringing up in this series is the Spinosaurus and the Therizinosaurus. Now, this is a battle I've been wanting ever since I knew what the Therizinosaurus was. Obviously, the Therizinosaurus is very large. It isn't necessarily that long, but it's about as tall as a giraffe, around 20 feet in height. Obviously, we all know the Spinosaurus. A lot of people know it from Jurassic Park 3. The Spinosaurus that we're going to be using is going to be a real-life version of the Spinosaurus, but not the four-legged one, but rather the two-legged one, just because it's easier to talk about and it's more recognizable than the four-legged Spinosaurus. So like I said earlier, the Therizinosaurus stands at 20 feet in height, around 33 feet in length. It is pretty long, but not quite as long as the Spinosaurus is. The Spinosaurus does stand at about 18 to 20 feet in height, and some people say it measures up to about 60 feet in length, but I'm just going to give the range around 50 to 60 feet in length. So obviously both dinosaurs are very large, and I'm just going to go through what each dinosaur has over the other. I'm gonna start off with the Therizinosaurus. Obviously, we know the Therizinosaurus has those huge claws. If it does use it properly, it could possibly do a ton of damage to the Spinosaurus, maybe even killing it eventually. That's definitely one advantage the Therizinosaurus has over the Spinosaurus. This could be a disadvantage and an advantage at the same time, and that is its long neck. This just keeps all of its important body parts up high instead of down low like most herbivores do but the bad thing is it exposes its neck and the spinosaurus could easily recognize that and go straight for their neck bite but the therizinosaurus is very familiar with fighting large theropods its main enemy is the tarbosaurus which is a much smaller cousin to the t-rex it definitely did get a lot of fighting experience from that dinosaur but the tarbosaurus doesn't really match up to the size and the strength of the spinosaurus now we're going to go to the spinosaurus the spinosaurus obviously has a very powerful bite for us. And compared to a T-Rex, it's not very powerful, but when compared to most dinosaurs, it is a very powerful bite for us, of about 4,000 pounds. Another thing the Spinosaurus has is long arms, and this is one thing a lot of the large theropods lack. I think the Spinosaurus could use this to its advantage. Like we saw in Jurassic Park 3, it used its long arms to grab the T-Rex's neck and maneuver it so that it could bite it, and then it eventually twisted the T-Rex's neck, killing it. And another thing the Spinosaurus has over the Therizinosaurus is the ability to swim and hold its breath for a long period of time because the Spinosaurus is partially aquatic. So if it were to be in trouble in this fight and, and had to make an escape, it easily could just go in the water and this is where the Therizinosaurus would just get absolutely destroyed. But I doubt the Therizinosaurus would be dumb enough to go and chase the Spinosaurus into the water. Now I'm going to be saying what would happen in a real fight between these two. Now most likely this would take place near a beach or near water because that's where the Spinosaurus mostly lived and the Therizinosaurus obviously had to go for drinks every once in a while so maybe they would meet up there. Most likely the first thing the Spinosaurus would do if it saw the Therizinosaurus is go straight for the neck. I think that would be the best idea for the Spinosaurus is going straight for a knockout blow because you definitely don't want to be in a long fight with the Therizinosaurus especially with, with those long claws and the Therizinosaurus on the other hand would probably go straight for a, a swipe and just try to wear down the Spinosaurus as much as it can. The size advantage and the power advantage, it will most likely be able to manhandle the Therizinosaurus, but I doubt the Therizinosaurus would go down without a fight. And honestly, I think the winner of this fight would probably be the Spinosaurus. And I'm going to be talking about the possibilities of this fight happening in a Jurassic World film. Now, we did see the Therizinosaurus on a screen in Jurassic World, so maybe they will bring the Therizinosaurus into the Jurassic World franchise. And as we all know, the Spinosaurus has been introduced to the Jurassic Park franchise, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to put the Spinosaurus in Jurassic World 2. And to put it up against a dinosaur like the Therizinosaurus would be a very good idea, and it would be a very good battle. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who do you think would win this fight? Do you agree with my choice? And what do you think about this fight happening in Jurassic World 2? And yeah guys, leave a like and have a nice day.